Today, let's talk about the four types of ground balls and the proper ways to field them. Let's get into it. We'll keep it very simple. We'll talk about the ground ball straight at us. The main keys here is getting outside the ball if you can to make sure you can see the hop and continuing your momentum to the first base bag. Coach always saying, charge it, charge it. Why? Because that internal clock in our head is speeding up when we wait back. The more we can attack the baseball, the easier the throw is going to become and work through it. So the fundamentals you're looking for here is as I get into my creep step, that ball's hit, I see it's right at me, I'm gonna take that one step outside to start to get my angle. Now my momentum can work right to left through that ball and through my target. The other option we have on a ball hit right at us is to field it on our glove side. What do I mean by that? That ball's chopping, we already see our angle. I'm gonna field off my left foot, catch, and work into my throw. That's gonna talk into our fourth ground ball, which is gonna be about slow rollers, and we'll get there in a minute. Next, we'll talk about the ground ball to our glove side. Two different ways to field that. First, if we can get in front of that ball, we're gonna kinda of cut it off on our way to first, and I'm gonna rotate my hips like a quarterback. That's gonna get me in line with my target. So the first way, ball's hit, I get a good break, I can kinda of get in front of it, catch, square my hips to my target. Second one, the play's gonna be a little bit tougher. That ball's almost out of reach. We're fielding it on the run here, and we're gonna work into what we call the reverse pivot. So that's gonna get my momentum, get my eyes back towards my target. It's one of my favorite plays that you can make as an infielder. I'll drop one for you right here. But what you're gonna see is I field that ball off my left foot, and all I'm trying to do is take my right leg and replace so that I'm back into my throwing position on the way to first. Third ground ball we're gonna talk about is a ball to our backhand. Two, maybe three ways to field this one. It all starts with our footwork. So as soon as I get to that ball, boom, I cross over. I'm gonna to get to this baseball. I can either field it with my left foot in front where I'm gonna to have to catch, replace right, left, or if I can get there and kind of change my momentum back to the first base bag. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna get behind that ball a little bit, take my right foot and plant and push. What do I mean by plant and push? Plant the right foot and I'm pushing myself and my body through that ball. I think the right foot's a little bit quicker to get to the base, but it's gonna allow us to push and keep that strong throw on our target. The farthest throw we're gonna make is from our backhand. The third way I'm talking about fielding that backhand ball is almost a run through. So that ball's hit to our backhand. I don't think I have enough time to wait on it and truly backhand. So I'm gonna try to turn my shoulders towards home plate. That ball's hit, boom, I'm gonna get outside and I'm now I'm gonna work downhill to get back towards my target. That ball's gonna be coming out over top and that's usually on a speedy runner, which is gonna bring us to our fourth and final ground ball, the slow roller. Now with the slow roller, we usually have one chance at this runner. We don't have a lot of time, the ball's chopped in front of us, and we gotta make a, what we call a do or die play. So I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna field that ball off my left foot, which is most comfortable for me, and I'm gonna make that throw, hopefully on my next step. So boom, that ball's hit, I'm working downhill, I'm gonna plant and catch on my left foot, transfer and throw off my right. We also have, some people will field that ball in the middle of their body and try to throw from that same spot. So it looks like I'm coming in, I'm fielding the ball here, two hands out. I think that's a little tougher because now I got both of my hands in the middle of my body, my center of gravity is way out in front of my feet. The last thing that we can do is go for the do it for fun. We got the bare hand, right? I got one shot, I'm gonna try to get underneath. The key is I'm trying to get all of my fingers underneath this baseball so that when I get it, I might not have perfect grip, but I got control. Those are the four type of ground balls. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Next video is coming out soon.